Now, anyway, this cover looks crazy. I mean, first we got this guy who looks like the Incredible Hulk ripoff. And look at him, he's huge! And then we have this guy that looks like Cyborg from Teen Titans. And then we have... Hello. Um... No comment for this one. But anyway, let's take a look into the first page. Okay. Now, if the cameraman can please come close. That's it, close, close. Way too close, way too close. Oh, it's gonna eat me. Now, we open up on a backstory. Oh, this is just perfect. Now, let's see. I can't see without these glasses on, so let's see. All right, we open on a girl, on the main hot girl saying, you, you are a great warrior. Wait a minute, no, it's that one guy. Oh, he mistaked her for Wonder Woman, the real great warrior. <laughs> Good, because Wonder Woman is great. Never mind, let's just move along. Now, anyway, this nerdy guy who looks like Billy from, from Power Rangers says, this is too much for me to take. I saw myself die today. Only yesterday I was home playing video games. And then I was playing Call of Duty with my friends, but you get the picture. And then we have this night guy say, Yesterday you were... What? Five hundred and sixty years in the future? Wait, what? Did I accidentally pick up another issue instead of a number one? Anyway... He goes on to say that I understood how all this can be disturbing for you, Chip. But you've got to get a hold of yourself. I really suck when it comes to reading comic books when we're improving the whole thing, but either way, you get the picture. So, blah blah blah, he goes on to say you're the chosen one and some other stuff and you have to defeat the main villain Krugen in order to receive the quickening. Moving right along to the more gritty stuff, we have a- Holy crap, what is that? It looks like the Green Goblin all decked out, man. And then we have this- Oh my gosh, look at his face, man. The artwork is coming right for us, back in cover! Uh, anyway. <laughs> I got one thing to take care of this, the do- The laser- This toy does- Okay, I'll get back to this later. Anyway, as we find out that he goes on to say, your primitive weapons of your time are useless because I am Cobra Commander. Anyway, we move on to the next panel and we have his best, uh, I am a Marion face. While screaming, Cyblade, help him or teach this. As if that makes any sense at all. Anyway, one of the warriors dies. They end up killing him by blowing off his brains and releasing some pink blood. Cameraman, are you getting that? Does that look like pink blood to you? Tell me, is that pink blood? Just look at that, man. It's pink blood. I mean, jeez. Well, let's move right along to the next page. Or maybe it's not as bad. And... Oh look, it's an advertisement for what's deemed as create the hottest crossover from for the I, I suck when it comes to arenas, don't I? Of the year. Which is Cyblade What what's that word? Shy. Shy Special Issue One of Two. Okay, apparently this comic likes to advertise porno. Anyway, moving right along, we go into a corridor, corridor and we see the main Billy going crazy and what looks like he's about to slap her. It's like, are you both crazy? We could destroy everything! Apparently he took some lessons from Superboy Prime. I'll kill you! I'll kill you to death! Well, anyway, then he finally comes to his senses and says, We just traveled back in time. That they just traveled back in time and they can't destroy history and blah, 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 whatever. Time paradoxes and loops. Anyway, moving on to the more gritty stuff. And for no apparent reason, she punches him out. I mean, jeez, you don't cross this chick. And they move along to a storm corridor while they're playing Dungeons and Dragons. Huh. Dungeons and Dragons. Am I right, cameraman? 
Well, anyway, they go past more stone corridors, and then they come to a certain realization. Not magic. Technology. Alien technology. I knew it! Wait. We knew that from the beginning, anyway. And yes, I knew you got in a shot, cameraman. This is all going to be edited. And I think I should leave that part in, too. Anyway. Okay. Well, if you thought the comic was over, well, be disappointed. Because now we move on to Chapter 2. Which has this other hero, which might enter the comic book. Which I mentioned before looked like the Teen Titan ripoff. Well, let's move a lot right along to the next panel. The next panel shows the Hulk guy in metal clothing, clothing just waking up. Saying, hey guys, over here. Look what I found. I found the new episode to Starship Troopers. Wait, that joke didn't make any sense at all. Anyway, uh, he's hanging out with his groups of friends with uh, what looks like a Poison Ivy ripoff. And we find the dead body of, the, of one of the aliens that was destroyed earlier. Wait, what? Where in the universe does this take place in? Either way, moving right along, we find uh, more boring stuff, just more exposition, exposition, blah blah blah. Moving right along, game boring. Let's move on. Uh, let's just skip to the end. I mean, this comic book is already bad enough. Uh, let's see. Let me find it. Okay, it all ends on this girl who we don't know. For whatever reason, but yet she's wearing really a really skimpy outfit. What is with the combo creators and designing women's clothing? It's like, potentially, they want young comic book readers to look at the girls instead of actually look at the good story and characterization development and actually the nice looking artwork. But anyway, that's just me and my views. Well, we find out that there's this big ogre like guy that says. You are, what, you are what I've been looking for for a long time. Well, apparently this guy's bad at dating. And her last lines are, Hey, Brad. It... It can't... Can't we discuss... Oh my god. What the hell is this place? Home. Huh. Well, apparently a home looks like... Well, it looks like a comfy place despite all the main torture goblins and the slaves that they have. So, anyway, it's a top-notch place. Just don't ask Bill O'Reilly or Obama to visit there. <laughs> Boy, that would be terrible. Anyway, that's how the comic book ends and ends with her... Whoa, hold on, I was wrong. It actually ends with her making the crazy green goblin look. And it ends on a to, to be continued. Okay. Well, let have, let's have the cameraman finish this one shot. You had to stand up. You had to stand up. Back to where I was. Okay, in short, this comic sucks! You know, this comic is beyond terrible. It's got a bad story, and I thought I really picked up an issue one when this is actually probably an issue three or whatever. There's only one thing to do with this comic, and that's right, we have to throw it out. Follow me! Move it along. I just have to say this.